Syria says one of its military air bases has been attacked. Russia has once again warned the United States not to take military North action. Korea's nuclear and missile capability has posed the toughest foreign policy dilemma. Unlikely. No, I don't believe there'll be a third world war. The probability of this is very high. We are not going to have a third world war. We are currently witnessing a cold third world war. I hope not. The Syrian conflict is already a global conflict. The North Korean leader is so close to getting a uh, nuclear capability. This is perhaps the first period of the biggest powers simultaneously rubbing right up against each other. Western leaders believe they are much more strong than Russia. Um, Russia is an adversary. Right? I'm just going to stop it there. First off, we're going to say Shalom. Brakfai Yahab Bashim Yahushai Bashim Rukakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Blessings and salutations to the elect worldwide preaching the gospel and spirit and truth consistently. May the Lord have mercy upon the one third of Israel, men, women, and children destined to repent. And you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Hispanics, and those that are scattered, no matter how you look like or where you are, you are the true Israelites of the Bible um, due to um, Bible prophecy characteristics and identification of the scriptures and due to the the the, the signs of the curses that will be upon our our, our seed our, our people you know uh, the curses of of the book of deuteronomy chapter 28 and your god whom you should worship is the heavenly father yahweh through his son yahweh shai and his name is not jesus christ and it's considered as a so-called black man according to scriptures revelations 1 chapter 1 verse 13 to 15 yeah as you as you heard in the video you had a lot of um people that are speculating that there might not be a world war three then afterwards they ended up eating their words and saying that there's a higher risk or higher possibility of there being World War Three, and of course, man, the scriptures talk, talk about World War, you no, know, and America being destroyed, Revelation eighteen, Joel three, you know, Book of Joel, yeah. So <laughs> Daniel's, so yeah. There is going to be in Revelations as well, third world, second world is past third world cometh quickly. So yeah, there is going to be a world war for you, man. And what intrigued me also about this video is if you can see right now on the screen, you see someone holding a poster in the streets in public and it says the end is nigh. And it reminds me of what we've been doing, man. Let me get a better picture. Yeah, like I said, it reminds it reminds me of what us people have been doing. And I'm talking about the, the us guys in the truth in Great Millstone GMS and those that are preaching the right um, right doctrine, the uh, Israelites. But yeah, you can go like in Google. Not right, GMS preaching, and we've been warning the people about World War, man. The mark of the beast. Yeah, we've been telling people that the end is nigh. The American sign, America being destroyed. Yeah, signs of, of, of nuclear war. The posters there. You can't escape from it, man. You can't escape from it, man. Yeah. But the sign's good right here, man. Now someone just talking shit, I believe. Someone's saying this image is not biblical. Extreme street preaching. 
you know, that's you got people labelling us and stuff like that. Whatever it is what it is. But yeah, man, America's destruction's at hand. And this whole society, the whole so called white man's society is gonna is gonna be destroyed and, and falling apart. Yeah. But guess what? All these people that wanna scoff and talk shit, they're gonna get swept away, man. They're gonna get swept away. And this destru- destruction. Those that don't believe, those that are, are doubting in their speculations like these politicians saying, Oh, there won't be a World War Three, they're all gonna get caught up in the destruction, man. And our people, two thirds of our people, Israelites, you, you, you niggas, you spicks, you so called black, so so called Latinos, you men and women, yeah. They're not taking heed to the word, you're gonna be part of the destruction as well. Yeah. This is Matthew 24. Let me start from verse 36. But of that day and hour knoweth no man. So nobody knows the exact date. Yeah? Nobody knows the exact date of when the, the complete total destruction happened or the day of the Lord when he returns. No one knows. No. Not the angels of, of heaven. So not even the angels, the holy angels, the ones that that ride and die for the Lord. Well, they don't die. They ride and stay alive for the Lord. Yeah? Get, they get things done in pinpoint, perfect, precise accuracy. Yeah? They help minister. They help the men of the Lord. They keep them protected. They do what the, the Lord says, and and they have so um, great power, man. Angelic beings have great power. They're divine, but yet they don't have the knowledge of the day of the Lord, of when he will exactly make his appearance on earth. Yeah? And Yahweh, this is Yahweh Shai talking, it's written in red. Yeah, and it says, but my father only. So not even the Lord knows Yahweh Shai, but only the heavenly father. Yeah, and that itself, that itself proves that the heavenly father and the son are two um, different entities. Yeah, not, not, not like that uh, Catholic Christianity, Trinity bullshit, man. That's off. This right here kills it. They're separate entities. They are one. In accordance, meaning they work together, they have one mind, they have one doctrine, yeah? But the Heavenly Father is the Creator, and He created His Son to be the Deliverer. So they're two different entities. And it says, but at verse 37, but as the days of Noah were, yeah, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. What will happen in the day of Noah? Noah. We are told to build the ark. And spiritually, the ark is a sanctuary. You know, a place of comfort while. The rest uh, are in destruction. That, that spiritual ark is this word, man. The word of salvation. And when this word uh, is being preached, which the word has multiple elements, it teaches you how to behave, teaches you right, right and wrong, gives you the knowledge and keys of salvation, Gives you knowledge, wisdom, understanding of this world and these scriptures. Teaches you how to worship the Lord. Teaches you how to treat your brother. The word has everything, man. It has prophecies, warnings of the end times and how to prepare yourself through the word. Yeah? This is a spiritual ark. But those, those people that time at the day, day of Noah... They were scoffing, talking shit, had doubt.
unfaithful, didn't believe. You can't have that in this truth, man. That's going to get you killed. For as the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking and marrying and giving in marriage. Meaning what? They didn't care about what's happening. That's like this world right now. All these bitches and the hoes going on Instagram with no care, living it up, going on, on holidays to dare, to dare. They think everything's going to be all right because they have this mindset that every day they're going to turn up to work and everything's going to be all right. One day you ain't going to turn up to work. One day you, you try to turn up to work and the, the building's missing. Why? Because it got hit by a missile. One day you're going to realise what happened to the transport. Yeah? One day you're going to realise and come outside your house. Why the shop's got um, uh, bar barricades? Shutters down. Broken windows. Why is the streets filled with blood and heads rolling? And animals running around? And troops in the street? All of this is going to be happening, man. Until the day of Noah entered the ark. So, in other words, the rest of the people got, just like back then, when Noah and the, and the, the souls that were saved, his children, got in the ark. You know, he was exempt from, from that uh, destruction. You know, he was safe, he was kept kept comfort the Lord gave him comfort from that destruction saved him separated him so in this truth that's what, when you got to put your head in this truth and if you're sincere the Lord will see you and take you away from that destruction man if you have faith Lord, Lord willing you of that elect and knew not until the flood came and took them all away, so shall also the come of the son, son of man be. Another one. It's Ezekiel 33. What's up, verse 29? Then, then shall they know that I am the Lord, when I have laid their hand most desolate because of all their abominations which they have committed. This... This whole society is full of abominations and wickedness. That's why it needs to be destroyed. And even our own people, man. Because they didn't take heed, they didn't listen, they didn't want to repent. Two thirds are going to be destroyed. Esau, the so called white man, is going to be destroyed, and the rest of these heathens. Because they're full of wickedness and they're abominable, man. So called white man has put in. The so-called white man and his society is is only abominable. It's only wicked, especially with this homosexuality LGBT movement. You know, fraud, the enslavement of Israel, so-called Negroes and Native Americans. We're gonna get justice, man. Also, of our son of man, the children of thy people still are talking against thee by the doors, by the walls, and in the doors of the houses, and speak one to another. So, you're going to have your own people, well, you do have your own people coming against you, and it's truth, talking shit behind your back. And they're going to pretend to be your friends to your face, man. And this also goes to family members, man, or pe friends you knew for a long time. Yeah, saying, "Come, I pray you, and hear what is the word that coming from, from, coming forth from the Lord, and they come unto thee as the people cometh, and they sit before thee as my people, and they hear thy words, but they will not do them." Yeah, so you're gonna have people um, that you might think that they're oh they're sincere or they're coming to listen to the truth, but no, man, they're fakes. Even though you're you're showing them the signs, world will freeze imminent. You're showing them the scriptures mainly, importantly. They don't want to hear it. And they will not do the words. They will, they will not repent. For with their mouth, they show much love, but their heart goes after their covetousness. 
and lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song of one that have a pleasant voice and can play well on the instrument. So, when you're preaching, you're, you're symbolic to a, a sweet song. Yeah, we're playing a song that's uh, call, uh, calling you to repentance. Yeah, when when you play a sweet, when you when you play a good song, you vibe with it, you dance with it, you say the lyrics to, you repeat it to. That's what we're doing, man. We're saying the scriptures. Yeah, scriptures are the lyrics. Yeah, like music. And it's it's being passed on to the person. The, the, it's being passed on to the other person. And if the other person is interested or likes the beat, likes the rhythm, he will dance too. He will start singing the words too. And you know, and if he's meant to join the club, you know, of being the elect, he will be. If not, he's not. For they hear thy words. But they do them not, so they don't do it. They don't dance. They don't, they're not singing, man, to the right tune, which is this word. And when this cometh to pass, you know, all that destruction that's going to be happening, all that doubt they said about World War Three, all the end is not yet. Ah, uh, we got ten more years, twenty more years, fifty years, or whatever. Longing it out because of lack of faith. Lo. It will come, so it will come. It's inevitable. Then shall they know that a prophet have been among them. So as you keep pushing this truth, yeah, the right doctrine, you keep pushing the names of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, and you keep declaring the prophecies in the highways and byways, it's going to come to pass, man. And we see it day by day through the news and various um, alternative articles and medias that the end is nigh, man. And it will be the end very soon, man, when the Lord comes back. And the RFID chip, World War Three, major prophecies, all causing a domino effect and destruction and chaos in the society, man. But yeah, man, hope you've been edified with that, man. I'm going to say Shalom.